The Beam Eye Tracker sits at a price of just 30 bucks and turns your webcam into a head and eye tracking device, like the Tobii 5, which costs 10 times more. This means you can look around in games freely by just turning your head a bit. So, how does it compare to other solutions, like the Tobii 5, the Trackhead or the Track IR? Here's my experience with Beam and why you should seriously consider buying it if you're in the market for a head tracking solution. You can try it out for free, by the way. Just get the trial from their website, Beam sent me a key for their software for free, but I didn't receive any compensation beyond that. With that said, let's go check it out. After the installation, we just fire up the eye tracker and select our camera. Check out my beautiful hair, styled by writing scripts all day and doing nothing else. USB 3 video, by the way, is the signal from my main cam with a beefy lens. That could basically be cheat mode, so we'll compare it to a standard webcam later to see if there's a difference. For a fair comparison, we'll go with 1080p and 60fps. Don't worry, I'll change the interface language later once we've calibrated Beam. First, we need to tell the software where the camera is located. Then we set whether it's slightly tilted upwards, downwards or not at all. We then need to look at a bunch of circles on the screen to calibrate the eye tracking. Surprisingly, this works really, really well. Not quite on level of a Tobii 5 eye tracker, which is 10 times more expensive and uses dedicated hardware, but good enough to be a viable tool. More on the Tobii later. Of course, I installed everything without checking the manual, as most of us would do, and just launched IL-2 Stromovic to test it. Also, of course, Nothing happened. A quick glance at the manual tells me to install OpenTrack as well. No problem, that's what we do. OpenTrack is a free head tracking tool that supports most games you can think of, which is especially nice if you own a Toby 5 tracker that doesn't support IL-2 out of the box. OpenTrack also supports Beam out of the box. We just select it and that's it. The tracking works. It's a bit sluggish at first, but that's adjustable. In the settings, we can tweak the head tracking filter. Turning it down makes the tracker more responsive. Since OpenTrack uses its own smoothing, the impact on stability is minimal and the tracking gets a lot more responsive. The same goes for Flight Simulator 2020. The Beam Eye Tracker works right away without much setup. I just increase the sensitivity in Beam settings. What you get is nicely smooth tracking without having to mess around with a ton of sliders. If you enjoyed checking out Beam with me so far, please drop a like. It helps a lot and tells the YouTube algorithm that this video is worth watching. Now let's remove the fat cam and use a standard webcam instead. It's an Opsbot Meet SE, which is one of the best choices under 100 bucks in my opinion. It delivers 1080p at 100 FPS, which directly improves tracking responsiveness and quality. The eye tracking gets a bit worse though, I guess because of the lens captures less detail at the same resolution than the fat lens. But the higher frame rate helps a lot with the head tracking. We get smoother motion overall. Time to activate the eye tracking in FS2024. We need to tune it down a bit so the field of view doesn't jump all over the place when we move our eyes. But at this low sensitivity, it's a nice addition to the immersion in my opinion. You can look around with your head and if you glance at something, the screen slightly shifts in that direction. That's also practical for checking a monitor or other instruments quickly without having to move your head. The bigger your screen, the more useful this feature becomes. For a full in-depth setup guide for the beam head and eye tracker, check out my tutorial linked at the end of this video. Alright, now for the recommendation and comparison. Would I get beam for 30 bucks? Yes, absolutely. The machine learning part of Beam tracks your face really well and doesn't lose it even in slightly suboptimal lighting conditions. It also recenters super reliably after you come back after fetching something to drink and it lost track of your face. The more resolution your camera delivers, the better the eye tracking gets. The more FPS it delivers, the smoother the head tracking feels. Everything from 1080p60 upwards works absolutely fine. The next step up in price would be the Trackhead V2. It uses its own IR camera and emitters to track your head. That's an advantage and means it tracks reliably in all lighting conditions since it doesn't care whether it's light or dark. It's limited to 60 FPS though, which is a bit less smooth compared to the 1080p 100 webcam I've tested with Beam, but still totally usable. It can track your eyes though. The Track IR and Tobii 5 are both a lot more expensive. 
They offer super smooth tracking and also don't care much about lighting, but like I said earlier, that comes at a price. Compared directly, the Tobii 5 has better eye tracking and uses less CPU, as you can see here. If you have an iOS device though, you can download the Beam app. It uses your phone's camera for face tracking and does the processing on your phone, so your PC doesn't need to do the extra work. So in short, Beam is quite good, cheap and convenient to set up. Compared to the trackhead, it has some pros and cons. It's not quite on the level of the Tobii 5, but that's no surprise considering it's 10 times cheaper. For 30 bucks, Beam is an awesome deal. Here's the Happy Heinz Award, link in the description. I chose to become an affiliate after trying Beam out and making sure it doesn't suck. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, here's the full setup guide. Always happy to see you and until next time.